Four days to go until Americans go to the polls. Your voice, your vote. And there in the corner of your screen, our ABC News presidential countdown clock. As ABC's Jake Tapper tells us tonight how the president plans to cross the finish line in first place. Hello, Ohio! As he made his way today across the pivotal Buckeye State, the cornerstone of his Midwestern firewall, President Obama cast himself in the same bipartisan way that appealed to independent voters four years ago. And over the last four years, the status quo in Washington has fought us every step of the way. It would be unusual for a Democratic president four days before Election Day to actually suggest it would be okay with him if voters went for a congressional candidate other than a Democrat. But eager to paint himself as not part of the Washington problem, the president did just that at every stop. But as long as I'm president, you know, I've said I will work with anybody of any party to move this country forward. If you want to break the gridlock in Congress, you'll vote for leaders who feel the same way, whether they're Democrat, Republican, or independents. President Obama seemed energized and confident today. He actually did a little jig at his last stop here in Lima, Ohio. Obama campaign officials are talking up their early voting program, years in the making. With Republicans more reliable election day voters, the argument goes, Democrats have built up a bank of early votes, ones that make winning those battleground states a tougher challenge for Romney. Obama campaign officials argue polls of early voters in battleground states suggest their bank of Obama votes mean Romney will have to win on election day well more than half the votes in key states to win. But the president is not re relying solely on early voting or even on this new rekindled bipartisan pitch. In this state alone, Diane, President Obama and his allies have run 16,000 more ads than Romney and his allies. And if that's not enough for you, on Monday, President Obama will be back here in Ohio with Bruce Springsteen.